Well, today I'm up and about and ready to start the day. I am pepped up. <laughs> you know, a lot of times people may say or think, how is it that people get up in the morning? How can you become a morning person? Well, it's really about the pros and the cons. Now, some people naturally are morning people. Some people naturally are late hours. I happen to be a morning person. Um, but it wasn't always that way. You know, I find that contrary to what society says, good habits are hard to break just like bad habits. Some people tend to think that bad habits are harder to break loose than good habits. That's not true. Once you start any habit, it becomes a part of you to the point where it's almost like a part of your body, your skin. And if someone takes it away, there's some pain there. So, if, you know, for example, if you want to start eating out less in the morning, like not going through the drive through and getting that um, breakfast menu item from your favorite fast food restaurant and you you want to start cooking and saving some money while you're at it well I mean you know think about it how long does it take you to get from your home to go through the drive-thru or go inside and get that menu item and go to work after that you might be sitting in the line for about 10-15 minutes depending on how busy it is right so a lot of times people are delusional about what convenience is. Well, it may take just as amount of time to do that as it would for you to actually make your own food. Make your own food. For example, if you do like those breakfast menu items, get them at the grocery store in your frozen food aisle. You know, I don't really particularly care for a lot of convenience foods. No, I don't. Probably because I like to cook. So that has a lot to do with it. But also because a lot of the things that convenience food has in them, the chemicals and things, you know, are not really good for our body. Granted, most things are processed unless they come straight from the ground. You know, even the stevia sweeteners. But it's not about the processing of the food. That It's not that it's processed that's bad. It's the type of food it is in itself. So, for example, you might have oats in a bag that um, are ground up to flour. That's processing. It had to go through a process to be ground up. But it's different between having frozen foods that have all type of chemicals in it. Now, getting back to the subject of convenience. Everybody convenience level is different. Everyone sees what is convenient differently. So, you have to start steps. So, you get out of your bed in the morning, drive to your favorite restaurant in the morning before work, before take the kids to school, whatever you have to do. Um, or your student, or your stay-at-home mom, or your wife. But nevertheless, you don't like to eat your breakfast at home. So you go to the drive-thru. It's 10 minutes, right? That 10 minutes, you could have made some oatmeal. You could have even made some doggone pancakes. I don't even talk about diet. I'm just talking about saving money and starting the habit of self-nurturing. Because when you cook your own food... You are self-nurturing. It's almost like you're treating yourself like a king or a queen. You think of someone who's being served a, 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 a menu item or a king or queen or someone of prestige or even when you go to a restaurant. You are being brought food. It is a service to you. So you can be a service to yourself. So I recommend just start slowly. Wake up. 10 minutes early and make you something very quick. Even if it's a box convenience food, you throw it in the microwave. 
and then start there, okay? How can you have control of your life and your self and the outcomes of your decisions, you know, your goals, if you can't even set small benchmarks? A lot of times people have these great goals that they want to accomplish, but they're not even willing to sacrifice a small start. Do not despise the day of small beginnings. So, you have to start small. You can't climb a mountain if you can't step over a rock. So, start small. Start self-nurturing. Hey, wake up 10 minutes early. Get the convenience food at first. Get the ones that seem a little bit more healthy. Like you might want to go with fruit, walnuts, and oatmeal for breakfast. And you can have your coffee. You know, everything in moderation. I love coffee. Okay? Definitely. But as a treat, when you say, hey, you know what? Starting off three out of the four times this week, um, three out of the seven times this week, I made my own breakfast. But now, I want to treat myself. I want to go to the restaurant and sit down and be served. Fine. You at least started your benchmark. Because I guarantee you, once you start serving yourself and you start seeing the physical results and the mental results of your goal setting and the great confidence it builds, you're going to desire to do more for yourself. You're going to desire to cook more breakfasts. And going out is going to be more of a treat. Instead of you cooking being more of a treat. Sometimes in people's homes, when someone cooks, it's like, oh, wow, what, what, is this somebody's birthday? <laughs> but it should be the other way around. It should be when you go out, people are, you know, looking at it as a celebration instead of you just cooking or doing something like that. And I'm not saying that everyone wants to cook, likes to cook. But, you know, it's nothing wrong with learning to love and nurture yourself and your family. Okay? So, tip of the day is set small goals. And when it comes to your body, what you put in your body is very important. So, this is what we're going to try to do. Every other day, get up and make your own breakfast. A five-minute breakfast. Five minutes. Oatmeal. Fruit, nuts, or whatever kind of protein you like. Five minutes and don't go to the restaurant every other day. And I want you to see how proud you will be of yourself. And also it will test your addiction to see if you're actually addicted to spending money on food you don't need. Addicted to going to fast food restaurants or restaurants and lazy about loving yourself. How can you accomplish a goal if you're not willing to sacrifice one bad habit. You can't accomplish a thousand good things if you're not willing to sacrifice one bad thing or one thing that's preventing you from accomplishing those things. So give it a try. So today's Friday. Tomorrow's Saturday. It's the weekend. I know sometimes people get up and they go out. But what I want you to do is one of these days, even if you start Monday, Get up in the morning and make you a five-minute breakfast. And we're going to do that every other day till we get it right. This is LaShonda signing out saying, serve yourself.